Good morning, Greg at the Caddis Fly Shop. Today we're going to be tying a golden nymph, a stone pattern. You can tie it in brown, black, effective for trout, uh, anywhere trout might be. Join me. All right, this is a Daiichi 1260 nymphing hook in a size 10. I'm just using a tungsten bead in a size 764. I'm going to start off by laying down some thread and I, uh, I'll move the bead back. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to tie on a couple of biots and then slide the bead over the biots. I'm going to go ahead and whip finish that real quick so I can slide the bead forward. Slide my bead up to the front here, just like so. You may have to manipulate these a little bit, these biots, to get them where you want them. But you just want them splayed open like a V. Then once I get that where I want them, I'm gonna go ahead and start my thread right behind the bead again. Lock all that down. Yeah, most people are fishing with some form of purple Now I do have tungsten. It's the way to go if you want to get deep. However, I'm gonna also be uh, putting some uh, wire on this and to do that I'm just gonna lay down a little foundation take that back just slightly beyond the hook point start a little beyond the middle and just work my way forward I'm gonna leave a little gap up in the front there because I'm gonna be tying later you can either break this off or use the back of your scissors tuck that in and go ahead and wrap that and secure that down. Put a little bead in the front there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I can order it in the shop too. And that's uh, this. This would be good for our. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably on the way home if I can. Also. I'm gonna bring it back. Sure. Right. Once again. Right. I'm using yeah. a little um, foam here, clown foam. Okay. I'm gonna give this a little hot butt. I'm just going to lay down a little piece here, a couple loose wraps, and tighten it up. Tie that off. I'm going to go ahead and tie that down. And we do want to build a taper on this fly. Get in here real close. One cut. There's my hot butt. I love that hot butt. Sticks out. Gives the fish something to see. I'm going to be using a little bit of uh, this STS Tribal Dub. This is the golden stone color. You can use it in brown, black. All those are effective colors for stones. You might see more golden stones. I don't know. In the fall. Maybe. In the spring. What I'm doing here, a little bit of dubbing. I'm going to give myself a little dubbing ball on the tail here. I should have probably moved my um, thread back, but it's not a big deal. So I'll just do this. And once I get there, I'm just going to go ahead and build a little dubbing ball. And I'm doing this so this will open up my biots or splay them open. Just a little tiny dubbing ball there. Maybe go a little bit bigger. When you're putting on dubbing, just put it on small quantities first. Lick your fingers, wax your thread if you need to. Once that's down, we'll lock that in. Get rid of some of those loose fibers. And I'm doing that so that when I put these biots in, they splay open just like the front ones do on the head. You can kind of make these as long or short as you want. I'm usually about the length of the body for the tail. A couple loose wraps. Put the other side on. Use that natural curve of your biot to really get out there. Get that splay. Tie all that in. You can see that's what you want. Built the taper. Okay. 
and then I'm going to start dubbing and uh, about to the three quarter point and build in a taper as I do. Build a nice dummy noodle here. But we're going to be putting a wing on, and I use uh, thin skin. I just use the natural, and I put a little notch in it. I'm just going to put that on there, and I just want that to hang maybe slightly beyond the halfway point of the hook. I'm going to lock that down and manipulate it as I need to. What I like to do is get in there with my botkin and just kind of pick out this wing and adjust it as necessary. Spin it on you, just wrap it back down and lock it down. And once again, I'm going to take more dubbing and I'm going to be putting dubbing in between the wing. You don't need a, you don't need a very tight dubbing noodle on this, guys. And what I do is I pull back that thin skin just like so, and I'm going to lock that off. I use the thin skin just because I want to tie these quicker, I and mean, if you're using turkey feather or something, you got to glue them and everything. I just didn't want to waste all my time doing that. So I'll do a little trim. I brought everything just in case. Make that wing. Just a slight little V in there. That looks good. And then what I'm going to do is lock that off. And I'm going to also add some legs to this. I'm just using some voodoo fiber. This is a, like a brown coffee color. And I'm just going to lock those in. I'm going to do a whip finisher on the front and then we'll glue it out. Do a good four or five turns. Lock that in. Fix those as we need. Let's go ahead in there and if you have any long fibers, trim them up. Personally, I like the bottom a little buggy. Take your dubbing brush, hit it up, take your bot can. That will work. There's your golden stone.